This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. In these oft uncertain times, isn't it refreshing that we have a president in Donald Trump that just so happens to have all of the answers? Apparently, the bankrupt trust fund baby throwing Twitter tantrums in the Oval Office is an expert in absolutely everything. Donald Trump is a shameless know-nothing, an Olympic gold medalist in one-upsmanship. You know, he's the kind of guy that if he saw you talking to your buddies in a bar, he'd be slobbering like a lunatic, dying to cut in to tell you that he's been there. He's done that. He saw that. He fixed that. And if given the chance, he'd be doing it so much better than you. Just in the last few days, this face-punchable bag of wet dog hair made a few colossal pronouncements, one more outrageous than the next. Take out your notepads, everybody. Here comes Santa Trump, and in his bag, he's got the answers for all the little boys and girls. He's giving away knowledge and advice for free. Whee! <laughs> and the first... Donald Trump has the solution for the horrific fire disasters that have consumed my home state of California. We are now up to a death toll of almost 90 Californians and hundreds of people are still missing. The fire was so merciless and moved so quickly that we are having trouble identifying the charred remains of the poor souls who couldn't evacuate in time. There were bodies found in cars trapped trying to escape the walls of hellish fire. The thousands of evacuees are scattered throughout parking lots across Northern California in tent cities waiting to be processed for emergency relief. How, seriously, how knowing this, does our president have the temerity to dismiss the suffering and instead overwhelms us with tone-deaf comments about raking millions upon millions of acres of forest floor. Apparently, the solution to our apocalyptic nightmare here in California has been sitting in sales bins in Home Depots everywhere. Rakes. GD rakes. Uh, Gavin's committed, we're all committed, I'm committed to make sure that we get all of this uh, cleaned out and protect it. We've got to take care of the floors, you know, the floors of the forests, very important. You look at other countries where they do it differently, and, and it's a whole different story. I was with the president of Finland, and he said, we have uh, a much different, we're a forest nation. He called it a forest nation. And they spent a lot of time on raking and cleaning and doing things, and they don't have any problem. And when it is, it's a very small problem. So. Uh, well, first of all, it's no shocker that the president of Finland says that Trump is lying about that conversation. All of it is just very embarrassing. Off-brand Smokey Bear over here thinks that if we just gathered up all the leaves from around the forest and the trees of millions of millions of acres in California, we could have avoided the nightmare. Duly noted, dipshit. But hey, we can't stop there because Donald Trump ain't done fixing stuff. California fires... Check. So then, Donald Trump sets his sights on the killing of Osama bin Laden. Here comes our never served a single second in the military, Orange Dear Abby, with a whole advice column full of should haves. The Bone Spur General had the muscular fortitude to unclench his flabby jowls and mouth the words that the SEAL team that captured the mastermind of 9 11 should have done it sooner. No. May, can, I just bring the, can I just bring the bigger 94% issue? Can negative. I bring the, the bigger issue up? Yeah. Bill McRaven, retired admiral, Navy SEAL, 37 years, former head of U.S. Special Operations. Hillary Clinton fan. Special Operations. Excuse me. Command, Hillary Clinton fan. Who led the operations, commanded the operations that took down Saddam Hussein and that killed Osama bin Laden, says that your sentiment is the greatest threat to democracy in his okay. lifetime. He's a Hillary Clinton uh, backer. Uh, and an Obama backer, and 
frankly, he was a Navy SEAL, wouldn't it have been nice years. if we got Osama bin Laden a lot sooner than that? Wouldn't it have been nice? You know, living, think of this, living in Pakistan, beautifully in Pakistan, in what I guess they considered a nice mansion. I don't know. I've seen nicer. <laughs> but living in Pakistan, right next to the military academy, everybody in Pakistan knew he was there. And we give Pakistan $1.3 billion a year. And they don't tell him. They don't tell You're him. You're not even going to give years. them credit for taking down bin Laden? So who are we to trust? 40 year veteran, Navy SEAL, and special operations genius, Admiral McRaven, or five time draft dodging coward who's afraid of the rain and can't even operate an umbrella, Donald Trump. And then, well, and then there's climate change. His own administration released a dire report last Friday. 13 federal agencies working in coordination released a detailed document featuring the conclusions of more than 300 scientists called the Fourth National Climate Assessment. Their unassailable conclusion is that the planet is getting warmer, human activity is contributing to that warming, and that we are approaching a point of no return in terms of the damage to the climate. This is from the Trump administration. And his big brain response? Meh, I don't believe it. I've seen it, uh, I've read some of it, and it's fine. Did they say economic impact is devastating? Yeah, I don't believe it. Don't believe it? No, no, I don't believe it. Nope, nope, I don't believe it. Come on, dingus, who are we to believe? 300 scientists across 13 federal agencies, or a dude who thinks exercise will kill you because the human body is like a battery with a finite amount of energy in it. Listen, the good news is that while these people hang on every single word that finds its way out of his mouth, the majority of Americans don't. And I think he even knows it. But he's not trying to convince us. He is desperately trying to cling to whatever public support he can, even if that means lying, deceiving, and simply making shit up as he goes.